Hello, welcome back to the Som TV Podcast. This is Jason Wise. We are live at the Food and Wine Classic in Aspen, and uh, I'm on a, about two hours of sleep. Uh, uh, I just did my blood alcohol, blood alcohol content, and it's uh, 47% um, gin. <laughs> no, it's great. We, this, is, this, is, uh, this is where it starts getting real. It is mm. day two here. Uh, we're going to try to turn this around real quick and get it up. Yeah. Claire, how are you? Tired. How are you? What are you tired from? You're going to parties. You're- I know. Well, I'm tired. I'm not like a complaining tired. I'm just, you asked and I told you. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I'm uh, happy to be here. No, it's, it's, it's really great. Today we had some, we filmed tons of stuff yeah. for Som TV. What I think w- is really interesting is when you go to these parties, when you, when you meet up, obviously we're filming blind tasting sessions and drink a bottles and all of these things. You get a lot of crazy, fun, interesting wines thrown at you. Oh yeah. Um, it is only the very beginning of this weekend. In fact, it's not even what what day is today while we're recording? Friday. Today's Friday. It is. Yes, it's Friday. Um, yeah, you will hear this shortly. So probably if you listen right away, it's Friday, or it will be Saturday. Sure. But the truth is, you get a lot of things kind of passed across your bow. And if you're at the Food and Wine Classic in Aspen, you kind of have this. It's kind of. It's kind of very strange celebrity element that you walking oh, yeah. in. Yeah, well, walking in, you act like it's not a real thing, and then... Oh, it's a thing. And then, you know, you're at a party. You and, go there to see and be seen, I will tell you what. <laughs> have <laughs> you, you been see? Have you been seen? Oh, I, I'm not anyone special, but it's cool to just... It's cool to... I'm still relatively new to this industry, so to see all these people that you're like, oh my God, there's that famous person and you're there's that. You're not that new, Claire. I'm new. Why don't, why don't we go through a few highlights and connect it to where we were and what it was, okay. some of the wines we've had yeah. during this trip. Yes. Uh, I think today I had a really big honor. If you listen, you know, you don't see my face very often. I don't go on camera very often, and, mm. and I'm trying to save you guys. Yeah, um, it's for good reason. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> In that regard. And uh, But I did, a, I did a drink bottle episode with uh, a really, really smart, talented guy who's a winemaker in Oregon who ha- also happens to play for the NBA. His name's CJ McCollum. And we did a drink a bottle where I drank one of his rosés, and I brought – a bottle of wine. I will say this. Um, I really loved his rosé. Yeah. I thought CJ's wine was excellent. It's ripping. It was great. The acid was tremendous. I, you know, we, we do this a lot and, and I like most wine, honestly. Like I find something great in most of the things I drink. And mm. I think that's why I love this job that I do so much. But when he poured this wine for me, I was expecting something decent and I got something great. So I just want to say just just a shout out to CJ. And the episode is coming on Sam TV. I, I was really, really, really impressed with uh, how well guided this wine was for mm. what he liked to drink. And it was a tremendous yeah. wine. So yeah. it's just a just a random shout out. Um cool. what have what have what have you had so far? Oh, there's been some honestly, when we were talking about what wines have we enjoyed? Oh my god, there's been so many, which is a terrible problem to have, isn't it? Um, I will say fresh off coming back, uh, from Israel, it was really cool to reunite with my buddy, Eric Siegelbaum and sit down and do a couple drink of bottles with him. We drank a uh, rosé that's hundred percent Barbera from a winery called Tabor. And then we also drank a lovely indigenous grape, uh, which is called Argamon. And that was from a winery called Jezreel. And it was really cool to just see him again and then to drink these bottles in Aspen and kind of get to be transported back to Israel for a little bit. It was yeah, such a special trip. This has been really, really an amazing thing to have this studio at the Little Nell here yeah. and to be able to do all these episodes. If you're a Sam TV subscriber, you have, God, do we have a lot coming. I um, <laughs> I can only remember what we shot like an hour ago. I can't I know. remember what we shot two weeks ago. Blur. That was this morning um, <laughs> because of how hard we are sort of hitting all of this. Uh, the, those Israeli wines are pretty astounding. I, I, it's it just boggles my mind that Barbera is the grape in the Israeli yeah. wine you drank with. Yeah, it. why not? Well, you know, it's it's <laughs> it's a good story. Um, the, another glass that I had with uh, with CJ was a 2002 Mesara. Mesara is a winery that is in Oregon. Mm-hmm. Uh, a Persian family went there, started a winery, and they make tremendous Pinot, really good stuff. Um, they make a lot of other things as well, but their Pinot in particular is really good. And so we drank their first vintage together. Uh, because CJ is an Oregon guy, played in Portland for a long time in the NBA. And so I brought this bottle for him to taste, and honestly, it was singing. I loved it. It was a tremendous bottle, and the family that makes it, they're really great people. And they're in. It's very nice on the palate. Yeah, very good. And they yeah. are um, they're in the next film, Cup of Salvation. Uh, no spoilers there, I guess, but but uh, it's a it's a tremendous, uh, tremendous bottle. You're always hoping when you bring a bottle like this for somebody special that it's mm-hmm. going to hold up on the travels and mm-hmm. uh, in the elevation and all of that stuff. So this one was. It was up there. It was really, really special. For sure. What else you got? Well, I have to say, I one of my 
I guess we've only been to a, a handful of parties this far, but uh, I really enjoyed the um, American Express party at Ajax last night. I thought that was really cool. The food selection was amazing. And then you have freaking Bobby Stuckey in the trenches and he's behind two buckets full of large format wine. It was him that and Yannick like, Benjamin. Yeah. Y- yes. Which you're just like, I'm just looking at these guys and I get to meet them and I'm just like, okay, this is stupid. Like I never in my wildest dreams thought I'd be standing on top of a mountain with Bobby Stuckey pouring me, uh, in this particular case, 2005 Dom Rosé. Yeah. And, uh, I just had a little mo- like out of body experience where I was like, dang, I am one lucky, one lucky gal to be in this position. You know, th- it's th- there's sort of this, I think if you're in the hospitality industry, you will understand what I'm saying. Um, like you're tortured by good things at events like this. Yeah. You and it's in the normal world, this would sound like you're ungrateful, but that's not the truth. I mean, we are so lucky to be here, yeah. and so lucky to taste this stuff. But when you go and you do these things, it's so concentrated. Yeah. So we get there, and they had this little station you're describing that said, like, yes. I don't know how I feel about this title, but it said Baller Wines. It was, and yes. It, and so they're all in buckets, just like it was. In there. It was like Close St. Hewn. If you've seen yeah. Somte, you know what that is. There was Lefleve, Clop Cornas, yep. and tons of stuff. But most of it was out of Magnums. So most of it was yes, Magnums it was and Jerry Bombs and yep. um, some incredible uh, Beaujolais and stuff. I mean, uh, uh, one of my, my next wine on this list was a Chateau Simone out of a Magnum, which is their rosé. It, yep. It's it's between that and the Lopez de Heredia for my favorite rosé in the world. And this, uh, this Chateau Simone rosé in particular is what I drank with my wife when I got engaged. And so when mm. I walked in and saw this rosé. Oh, you beelined. I, I did. I was very excited. You know, I was very excited. Like, oh, to see this wine. I just love it. First of all, you don't see magnums of it. You don't see it very often. It, it's an incredible ageable rosé. Mm. And um, it just brings me back to a, one of my most fond memories of my life, which was oh. getting engaged. Well, it's true. And uh, that that wine was very special. You never know what you're going to run into at a situation like this with these people. And Bobby, oh, prior to this, we had filmed guys just it's it's probably posting by the time you're listening to this we filmed a blind tasting session with bobby stuckey sabato sagaria both master sommeliers who have been in lots of our stuff you know saving the restaurant for bobby and the bus boy and sabato has been in all the som films and lots of content on som tv mm-hmm. uh two, two two genuinely good friends of mine i love these guys but on top of that they were trained by uh a guy named jay fletcher who if you're listening you know he's been on the podcast he was in som one and three uh he is a character is an understatement. He's like one of the most <laughs> um, uh, intense, hilarious, competitive, great guys in the wine business. And uh, he trained Sabato and Bobby. Yeah. And so he picked out a wine, which I'd love to put on this list, but I, I don't want to spoil that episode coming. He picked out a wine and he blind tasted them. He trained them and they were sort of like, you know, his protégés. Mm. And it is guys, it is effing hilarious. This it's episode. amazing. It's so great. And they I, fell into this trap. He set it up oh for them beautifully, God, and they so fell into it. It was amazing. You'll so see. it was great to see Bobby afterwards. But uh, anyways, it was just this is where you run into people that you know and love, and it's concentrated. So so that uh, Chateau Simone has all that wrapped into it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that was so cool, watching them blind taste. Anything I'm else just you so much. Yeah, and I think this is actually on both of our lists. I think we agreed on this wine. Uh, and that was the 08, or I'm sorry, it was 2009 Shaw Vermitage that yeah. Rachel poured for us. And Rachel's Rachel, a Somalia. Rachel's yeah. a Somalia here at the Little Nell. Mm-hmm. And um, she, she'll hold a very special place in my heart for this trip because she's just been generally like helping us out and being amazing, but also getting to go into the cellar with her and have her give us, you know, the first class treatment down there and and show us all the cool so, stuff. So that's and, live on Som TV Yeah, now. you can check Claire, that out right Claire now. Claire goes down into, uh, this is, not even subjective. Objectively, one of the greatest sellers in the United States as far as the wines they have. They've won tons of awards. Their curation is incredible. And Claire, you go down in the cellar with yeah. Rachel to talk about their most expensive bottle, rarest, what she thinks are the greatest bargains on the list. She's awesome. And it's like this deep red, crazy cellar that they yeah, normally red lights. bump rap music and stuff, which yep. we couldn't play while we it's were filming, pretty of course. But alas, we could not. No. But it was cool. And um then afterwards, she came up and gave us some pours of this Shaw Vermitage, which I thought was pretty uh, pretty badass. And I feel bad, Rachel. I spelled her name wrong. If you ever meet Rachel, her name is spelled R-A-C-H-A-E-L. That's for the world to know. <laughs> Nobody would I will never live it down. I, I need that. to call out my stupidity. Oh, my Lord. But uh, 
the <laughs> that ep- <laughs> that episode of right now it's of our food and wine coverage is streaming on Sam TV, which you should check out. And uh, she's appearing in a blind tasting session coming up with uh, the with a fellow sommelier, Jesse, over at the Little Nell. And this is honestly like you know you talk about concentration, and I know that it probably sounds crazy when you hear a recap of what we're doing here at the festival. But I will say when when you watch these episodes, it's all going to sort of fall into place. This is a concentration of some of the greatest beverage and food professionals in the world in Aspen already, and yeah. then everybody descends on this place. <laughs> we were at the we were at this Dwayne Wade's party for his wine, D Wade Cellars, mm-hmm. uh, last night, and you know you have like Andrew yeah. Zimmern and all of these. You don't have a situation like this um, in the food no. world where it's so concentrated, where you're like, oh, here's this person from Top Chef, mm-hmm. and here's this. This master sommelier and, and this famous and this ridiculous person, I don't you know, know, writers and whatever. Yeah. But <laughs> there's a whole lot of <laughs> whole lot of insanity, and so you know, yeah, um, yeah. Sam TV is here covering it, and we are. Uh, oh boy, we are not even getting started. We still yeah. have Saturday and Sunday to go. And we're gonna go. We're gonna rage. I feel a second wind coming on. Do you? Oh yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. All right, everybody, make sure you go to SomTV.com. It's just a little update here, but go to SomTV.com. You can catch our coverage there. And uh, we have lots of stuff coming. Blind Tasting with Bobby Stucky and Sabato and uh, Claire in the cellar of Little Now and lots, lots more to come. Yeah. SomTV is only $49.99 for an entire year, which uh, I promise you, there is no insider look like this anywhere else. So uh, enjoy. And everybody, be safe. We are going to keep coming to you. By the time I'm done with this, I will have no voice. And... Uh, I hope you all enjoy that. All right. Be safe, everybody.